We think that unemployment of youth in Africa is the most important challenge right now. That's why we decided to devote our African economic outlook that we prepare every year together with the African Development Bank, with the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa, and with UNDP to that subject. In the next 10 years, 130 million youth will look for a job. And the labor market is not necessarily prepared to provide an answer to this demand. Now, when you are poor, and doesn't matter if you are young or old, well, the only way to change your situation is to work. And if the work is not there, then you will face frustration. And that's a problem for people, obviously, but it's also a problem for society. There is not only one way to describe the situation, because in reality there are different situations. First of all, we have many young Africans working that in reality are working poor. It's not sure that every day they have at their table the food they need. We need to improve these jobs to provide a better living for these young Africans. But then there is another situation. The young Africans that are unemployed. Well, they are much more than what the statistics are capable to report to us. We see that 18 million young Africans are looking for jobs at present, but that's not the whole story. There are other 22 million Africans that are discouraged. They would like to have a job, but they are discouraged to use the official channel to find it. So they are in the informal economy or they are simply waiting. This situation needs to improve, not only in uh, poor African countries, these stories is also about middle-income African countries that are growing. South Africa is an example. This demonstrates that economic growth is necessary, but it's not sufficient. We need policy and action. Education can provide uh, good skills. But uh, sometimes education can also better orient. In fact, often we have supply of labor, people that are looking for a job, but they have skills that are not really needed or will not be needed. But it's not just a matter for schools. To create a link between the formal training and the on-the-job training is crucial. And more effort should be done so that schools and firms are more related in designing the education that is required. To improve uh, jobs and to increase the amount of jobs in Africa, smaller firms will be the answer. The public sector absorbs an important amount of employment in Africa. But even if it will grow in the future, the growth will not be enough to absorb the amount of young Africans that will look for a job. Large firms can provide new jobs, but not enough. Therefore, we need to rely on small firms and small entrepreneurs. I'm sure that together with the African Development Bank, the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa, UNDP, we are more than willing to help in implementing some of the ideas that you will find in this report. The story is not only about economic growth, which is necessary, but is not sufficient. We need actions and we need policies.